Hey guys, Brett's app out help. Quick video letting you all know that iOS 4.3 has been re released to beta developers. So um, <clears throat> what it looks like is it's basically available for all iOS devices. Now, there is one little disappointing thing. Uh, if you have an iPhone 3G or iPod Touch 2nd gen, it looks like it's the end of the line for you. You will not receive any more updates after this point. So this is yet to be confirmed, but there is no beta iOS 4.3 for you and that's kinda of looking a little sad so usually this is this is actually quite unusual for Apple because iOS 4 was supported for um, the second gen and iPod touch and third gen uh, or the 3, 3G iPhone so I don't know I was thinking maybe the, uh, when iOS 5 came out that they would cancel that but I guess not anyway moving on uh, looks like for the iPad you will get some really cool features such as if you swipe uh, down or up or something like that you'll get the multitasking bar uh, which would be pretty cool and this is all from the springboard or the home screen whatever and if you slide left you can go to the previous app if you slide right you can go to the uh, next app or the app you were just in so that would be pretty cool uh, let's see what else uh, looks like it'll be released early next month so beginning of February somewhere around that time it'll be released um, and also if you have a GSM iPhone it looks like you'll be getting personal hotspots which has been seen on the Verizon iPhone or on the CDMA network so that'll be also really cool uh, let's see uh, oops. Uh, 4.3 brings new FaceTime icon and iAds that's just a little minor feature uh, iPad physical orientation lock switch back to back in iOS 4.3 so you can now um, choose if you want to do lock orientation to um, or mute for that side switch on your iPad which has been uh, quite gotten a lot of people quite pissed off when they changed that to uh, lock orientation so that'll be really cool and one last thing with iOS 4.3 you can now do video streaming uh, for AirPlay which would be really cool instead of just doing uh, audio and it will also work with apps so third-party apps not made by Apple and there have been some apps that have allowed that have been allowed to do that but not too many until now so yeah that'll be pretty cool and for um, jailbreak wise um, uh, Lime Range should work for iOS 4.3 unless Apple has patched patched it then um, they will, uh, the the developers for the jailbreak will just fall back with the shatter exploit so yeah stay tuned for that I don't know if Apple has patched that so yeah anyways uh, just been a quick video letting you guys all know about that so uh, yeah please rate comment and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with uh, all these little updates with uh, Apple or anything else techy follow my Twitter Brett's iPod help. It'll be in the description below. And if you want to check out this website here, you can just uh, go to the link in the description below as well. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down there. Questions you can send to my inbox or comments as well. So yeah, now this has been Brett's iPod help. Peace.